Alrighty. I think it's that time again. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's take out the dusty shirts. Let's freaking do this. What's up guys? Welcome to a new video. A new series. New Jerry on my channel. This is going to be a epic journey as you all have seen and followed on my channel. We recently competed in a bodybuilding show and we placed first in my first ever bodybuilding show. So this was eight weeks ago in my home country, the Netherlands. And now... I'm starting a new journey because I have decided to compete once more this year in about 20 weeks. Let's check out the starting point and the weight. Here we go, 106.8 kilograms. 9.30 in the morning, July 5th. The competition I'm going to do is on December the 2nd. I'm going to talk about that in a second. But first off, here is my physique. Here is my shape. The beginning of this prep. We started prep on Monday. 106.8 kilograms. Yeah. <laughs> I am a massive dude at this point. <laughs> quick, just quick peeks on my physique. Yeah, I definitely look way better than I started in my last prep at 104 kilograms. The abs, obliques are showing already more. <laughs> the bicep striations in my shoulder definitely showing more. The back, thicker, bigger and better. This is my beginning shape of this prep. We have 20 weeks to bring the best physique ever and I think I'm going to beat this little man right here. <laughs> on that day I weighed at 85.8 kilograms on the stage and that was eight weeks ago so basically I've gained almost 25 kilograms in eight weeks two months <laughs> which is a lot but yeah I definitely am holding a ton of water but also gained a little bit of fat but we've got 20 weeks and I've done that prep in 10 weeks so we got double the time to bring a better shape so let's go downstairs and talk about the diet Good morning guys, so let's go talk about quickly about the competition and my diet the coming week So I started my diet on Monday. It's now Wednesday So the first week we are going to cut down but first off which competition competition I am doing It's called the William Bonek Classic. Yes guys, William Blownack Classic is the only pro qualifier in my country. I want my regional show. I place top three in my regional show, which means I can go for a pro qualifier and turn pro. Yes, it's insane mindset, it's insane thinking to turn pro after your second competition. But I thought if I don't do it now, I probably won't do it the coming three, four, maybe ever. Because it's like this, you gotta place top three in a regional show to do a pro qualifier. So that means I should go and step on stage twice next year, first off a regional and top, place top three, and then another pro qualifier. And now I place top three in the regional, which I have the opportunity, opportunity for to do a pro qualifier. Uh, there were a couple issues and problems. I first canceled everything because it was too expensive. <laughs> but the next thing happened, uh, yeah, a lot of people DM'd me and said to start a GoFundMe. And basically to keep it short, I started a GoFundMe and you all, the people that supported me, funded this whole competition. So the ticket alone, I'm not going to in-depth in that, the ticket alone was 250 euros. So that was the main reason I, why I didn't want to do it. And I talked about it in my previous videos. And yeah, that was the main reason I didn't want to do it. It would be too expensive. So you guys help me uh, to, to start this new series, series to turn Pro. Yes, this is going to be called Road to Pro, which you are going to follow me. I've got five months, 20 weeks exactly until 2nd of January, the William Bonac Classic. And first off, the diet, we are going to bulk a little bit. Yes, I'm already bulky. We are going to get some lean mass in. Uh, to start a cutting diet, 20 weeks out is way too early. So we are going to uh, just increase the calories a little bit and try to... Uh, get rid of a little bit of the fat. So I'm taking it really serious. Uh, the last eight weeks after my competition, I've been eating loosely. The, f <laughs> the first four weeks after my competition, uh, yeah, I ate everything what I wanted. The second four weeks, I got sick and I still, or didn't eat, 
or I eat what I wanted. So it was not a clean diet. Starting this Monday, we kept it really clean. It's Wednesday now. I'm proud of myself and I'm on my track uh, back to get on, uh, getting on diet. So the diet for the first week is to clean up a little bit Then we are going to increase the calories. So the macros for the first weeks are as follows 110 grams of fat 120 grams of carbs <laughs> and an insane amount of protein 320 grams of protein so that will be the first week the second week we will increase the carbs and uh, lower the fats so you will see that in the next vlog but we are going to increase it to 300 grams of carbs and drop it to 50 grams of fat and this coach my coach which done my previous prep uh, counts calories really different so basically i don't have calories I have macros I need to hit my macros directly which means the 110 grams of fat means I need to get the 10, 110 grams of fat out of fat surface so I'm not counting the fat from the chicken I'm not counting the fats from other stuff like rice or other micro fat calories or dense food so if oatmeal has a little bit of fat i'm not counting that i'm counting fats from direct fat sources like egg yolks olive oil uh, avocados nuts nut butters etc protein as well i don't count the protein from rice uh, other stuff that don't have or keep the valuable protein sources or amino acids so uh, protein like whey protein eggs egg whites and chicken breast or other meat sources that's how we count the protein as well for the carbs uh, counting carbs from rice rice cakes oatmeal bananas fruit whatever so that's how i'm doing i'm not going in depth to it but those are my macros for this week and this is what i'm going to eat for the first meal of the day and just like that i made my first meal of the day a delicious oatmeal bowl with uh, 80 grams of oat two scoops of protein uh, 50 grams of peanut butter and I've got 140 grams of banana and to quickly show you and explain how it works with uh, this code and how we count calories uh, is as follows so here we go I put everything in my fitness pal uh, the 140 grams of banana the whey and everything so basically the calories are 865 calories and then if you put on the macros so I've got 56 grams of protein, 80 grams of carbs, and 33 grams of fat. This is what my fitness pal shows you for the total macros and total calories for every single item. But like I explained, I just count direct sources of macros. So just the protein from the whey, just the carbs from the oats and banana, and fats from the peanut butter. And these are the following macros for this meal right here. So 24 grams of fat. 72 grams of carbs and 32 grams of protein which calculates to 632 calories. I'm not really sure if you understand what I'm saying. Uh, I at first was also really struggling with this and that was a problem with the first prep. The first two weeks I've done it completely wrong. So if you really calculate it instead of 10, 11 weeks I only did a 9 week prep. So basically I counted all the calories like I always did, but uh, if it's my macros, every single calorie and macro I counted, but this coach said no, just the direct sources. So instead of these calories and macros, I have to write down these calories and macros. So I'm going to try and do that for every single meal and show you the exact calories I'm eating and consuming for the day. So the direct sources and fats, carbs and protein are right here written down. So it, it saves me 200 calories in total of the, of the complete meal. But that does mean my calories will switch every single day. So peanut butter has more calories than other fat sources because it has fat, uh, carbs and other stuff. And also the oats have more calories per 100 grams than rice because it, ha it has fat and I and other micronutrients. Well, hopefully you will understand it a little bit by me explaining this. This is how we do this prep. So if you have any questions related to calories, I can't answer them. That's why I also don't get count or put my calories in the videos because I don't have calories. I have only direct sources of macro. I know guys, it's really weird, but this is like a old school method of dieting. So here we go, first meal of the day. Delicious oatmeal. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So today I've got legs on the schedule that's why I'm eating oats and banana otherwise I would have six whole eggs with a couple rice cakes so this is going to be my first meal of the day check up with you probably at the gym or show you my pre-workout before I head to the gym time to go to the gym let's grab a savage pre-workout wadia let's go I do one scoop 
Let's do one and a half scoops of pre-workout savage from victorious lifestyle amazing flavor sour apple and it's really sour so for the people that are from the netherlands if you want to uh, try this savage pre-workout which i do really like it has 3000 milligrams of citrulline 2000 milligrams of uh, beta beta al alanine for one scoop and if you do two scoops you're gonna be have an amazing pump and if you do three scoops i think you're gonna die literally <laughs> so if you want to try this out go ahead check it out at victorious lifestyle it's an amazing friend of mine who has his own uh, line of supplements creating fish oil multivitamin and as well amazing flavored protein so I'm going to the gym I'm uh, dressed up for a amazing leg workout so let's go ahead let's crush some legs and I'm gonna try and film every single second for you that I finished my leg workout going to have my post workout meal so I just wanted to show you I got here exactly one kilogram of chicken which is already roasted and flavored and I'm going to have a couple rice cakes so to show you this chicken go to the freezer right here so basically I'm going to have this salad chicken diced 20 millimeters these are the macros for this chicken so 300 grams 2.3 grams of fat and 24 grams of protein so basically this is already done but what I do like is just to pan fry it a little bit I will have one third of this chicken have a couple rice cakes and eat a meal and here we go this is my post workout meal looks pretty damn good and on top of this i'm going to have this guilt free sweet chili zero sugar added salt there's a little bit of sweet chili on there six grams of fat 20 grams of carbs and 80 grams of protein which comes out to 454 calories so i've got four rice cakes half of an avocado some tomatoes and i've got 330 grams of chicken which is already pre-baked tomato Avocado Rice cake mm, mm, mm. Here we go, last meal, I mean last bite Also, if you're dieting, <coughs> a small tip uh, What I like while I'm dieting is something spicy So this is a sweet chili, but it's kind of spicy uh, so yeah, controversial, sweet chili, chili is spicy, but why sweet, because it's spicy. So spicy food on a diet helps you uh, to keep to, or suppress your appetite. I don't like to use ketchup because it's kind of sugary and sweet and it, I crave more food. And also I really like sriracha. So a little bit of spicy sriracha on my food helps me to suppress the hunger. So uh, this small meal keeps me satisfied for now. So to show you the time, it's almost two o'clock. So this is my second meal. I will have three, four more meals. And to show you the calories in total, 30 grams of fat. I've got 92 grams of carbs and 112 grams of protein. So I've got quite some calories or macros to fill up. A lot of fats to fill up. And I don't have many carbs. So what I do love, and my coach also told me to keep the carbs around my tray. So I had my oatmeal bowl this morning and I had a couple of rice cakes right now. I'll probably have four more rice cakes later on and that will be it for the carbs or have my protein pudding which has carbs in it. So I will see later on. I do have the freedom to basically eat what I want, but I got to keep it clean. So I can't just eat crappy sources of protein. I like to have uh, full saturated proteins like meat like chicken i love chicken i love fle uh, fleece <laughs> fleece i love fleece i love really fleece i love meat so if meat keeps me saturated or keeps me full for a longer time if i eat uh, whey protein yes it's sweet it's delicious but it goes through me like that so 
Second meal of the day, I will keep it really short after this right now because I don't want these videos to be long and for me, they hustle to edit. So, catch up with you later on, probably with your dinner. All right, it's dinner time and here we go. We got a clean ass, carpless, high fat, high protein meal. So here we go. First off, we got 40 grams of avocado. I've got 50 grams of peanut butter, 330 grams of chicken with a little bit of vegetables, which I fried up as well. And I've got 10 milliliters of this pumpkin seed oil drizzled over the chicken. A clean ass meal right here and the macros for this meal, 40 grams of fat, 80 grams of protein, 680 calories with zero carbs. So basically this has zero carbs, zero direct sources of carbs. So I've got all the proteins, the fats I need and this is going to be a tasty meal with the peanut butter, pumpkin seed oil. Mm. 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 So this week only we are keeping the carbs to really minimum to a minimum of 120 Next week we are increasing it to 300 grams of carbs and having only 50 grams of fat per day So yeah, I'm not sure what I like more uh, high fat or higher carbs I do notice when I have higher carbs I crave a lot of fat and when I have a lot of fat I crave a lot of carbs. So this is the meal right now. It's five o'clock at night I will probably have two more meals or one more meal to finish up the day. Mm. And this is how I'm doing it. I'm going to finish some work on the computer and check up with you later on today. Alright, later on the night, 8 o'clock almost, and this is going to be my pre bed meal besides the dessert. So I've got the remaining of the chicken, 330 grams, some tomatoes, two rice cakes, and I have again 10 milliliters of this pumpkin seed oil. And with this, I have a big glass of water with a little bit of sugar free syrup and some ice cubes. So here we go, the snack, and to finish up the day with something sweet. I've got this whole container of this skier 0%. Fat yogurt or quark is high in protein, zero fat, 450 grams. And to this, I'm going to add a couple drops of flavor drops. And instead of peanut butter, I'm going to have some pure chocolate. So this is 70 grams or 70% pure chocolate. So I'm going to have this amount of chocolate with the quark, which I'm just going to cut off or shave up and just put on top. Just like that, shaved it up and put it on top of the quark. So this is my last meal of the day and the total calories or macros. For this meal is 24 grams of fat, 18 carbs and 42 grams of protein and 456 calories. Right here, small little dessert. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go upstairs, finish up the day and show you what I've eaten, what I've counted and what it basically is, direct and indirect. So let's see what the calories in total is for the whole day. Alright, and here we go in the room, going to bed. It's now almost 10 o'clock at night. Let's go ahead, finish this day and show you the total macros and calories. So like I said in the beginning of the video, my coach does it totally different. We count the complete sources of macros and um, yeah, I'm not gonna explain it again. But the total macros for today, I had 104 grams of fat, 120 grams exactly of carbs, and 314 grams of protein, which equals, if I calculate everything normally, to 2,672 calories. But if I look in my phone and go to my fitness pal, let's see right here, the total calories come out to 3,390 calories for the whole day. And the macros are 136 grams of fat, 170 grams of carbs, and 362 uh, grams of protein. So the total calories uh, I count uh, are way lower than I uh, basically consume. So yeah, that's why I always say I don't count calories, we count macros. So I had to hit the macros for the day. Not sure if you understand that, but now I really understand it. And I really uh, do prefer this because you get the right sources of the macros you need. Amino acids from the proteins and quality fats. So I'm going to end the video right now, right here. Guys, if you like this, if you uh, are excited for this journey, as I am, I'm freaking stoked to do this all again. And this time do way better, a way better job. So yeah, let me see how much you support me. And again, the GoFundMe link will be in the description. If you want to support me, you can go ahead. It's still online until the competition. Uh, if you want to help me, support me, go ahead. Uh, yeah, check that link. And as well, like the video, subscribe if you're new. And I can end it one way, one way only. Guys, I hope you, I hope you have a great day, great night, whatever it is in life. Do what you want. Do it now. I dare you. Live life. Peace.